situation. Ha! I knew you'd join up. Great news. We'll take back Skyrim together, eh? I'm glad I'll have you beside me in there. This place chills my blood. And I don't care who knows it. These old ruins. My father always told me to stay away from them. Good advice, I'd say. But never mind all that. We've got a job to do, and nothing's going to stand in our way. That and some Imperials are camped out of the entrance. Stay nice and warm around their fires. Imperials? Well, they're keeping themselves company. Let's slip in and send them to their graves that way. <laughs> What's the Legion doing here? Damn Imperial spies! Well, should be fun for us at least. They don't seem to know we're here yet. Ready to spill some Imperial blood for Skyrim? That's what I like to hear. Listen up. Those Imperials aren't here by coincidence. Their spies must have found out we know about the crown, and they don't want us to have it. They won't stand in our way. I know some of you are ex-Legion, and may know men on the other side. But remember this. They are the enemy now, and they will not hesitate to kill you. Keep your wits about you, and watch your shield brothers back. Ulfric Stormcloak is counting on us to bring him back that crown. That's exactly what we're going to do. Follow me, quickly and quietly now. They want to put us on the ground before they even know we're here. Skyrim! <laughs> That's the way I like it. Short and bloody. They never knew what hit them. But do not make the mistake of underestimating the Legion. Plenty of them are Nords, same as us. We had the advantage of surprise this time. Things won't be so easy from here on out. Enough talk. Let's go kill some Imperials.
rest of you lot are with me. I don't like the look of this. Perfect spot for an ambush. Ten to one, they're just waiting for us on the other side. But there isn't any other way through. Oh, you sure about that? Then please, be my guest and go strolling on in there. What's the hurry? We'll stay here and watch your back. Not so sure. Oh, then perhaps we should take a moment to look around a little, eh? Huh? You there, unbloody. See if you can find another way through. We'll charge in to help as soon as we hear fighting. Ever seen one before? No, and I'm not sure I'm better off for it now neither. Steady. A few dusty bone walkers aren't going to stop us any more than the Imperials could. We are not leaving until we get what we came for. Now let's keep moving. Pots 
on you. Sons of Skyrim! <laughs> Say these walls show the history of the ancients who built this place. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover? One thing at a time. We are here for a crown. Any of these carvings show a crown? Looks like this is as far as the Imperials got. Even if one of these pictures tells us where the crown is, I'm betting we're going to have to find a way through that door. See what you can figure out on Blooded. I'm going to check out these carvings over here. Let me know if you... Find something. like some kind of claw from a statue. I wonder what it's used for. Good job.
must be around here somewhere. Spread out and keep your eyes open. Be careful. I'm getting out of here. Stick around here for a while and see if we can find anything else useful. Get to Windhelm with the crown as quick as you can. Tell Ulrich.
Azura's will... Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Mm -hmm. certainly making a name for yourself. Enchanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. I don't want to see you treat. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Excellent. I'll start translating it. Shouldn't take me more than a day or two. I only just got my hands on it. I can only work so quickly. Please make sure your hands are clean before touching anything, all right? next time. I can... If you require assistance with summoning techniques, please let me know. If you would, please also contain your summons to the college grounds. The locals do not need to be agitated further by Atronarchs roaming their town. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. Not within society, no. Many who practice within the School of Conjuration do so on their own, secretly. Thalion is the only one I know who is public about what he does. He was once my teacher here, but left the college years ago. He didn't like the Archmage, hated dealing with him, 
hated having to answer to him. Thalion said he hated what this place was becoming, so he just left. Aaron found a note on his desk, and that was it. I understand he settled down in Hjalmarch, and his presence there caused something of a problem. By sure no. Those archaic policies died out with the Mages' Guild, and were never enforced here. Necromancy, as any other type of magic, is a tool to be used. Of course, non-mages may not see it that way, so we don't go around flaunting it. Take a look. All right, then. I'm working on some... The exact nature of my research is a secret, I'm afraid. But it really is quite valuable. Damn Tullius. He's pocketed men in the rift. It's dangerous having Imperial skulking about on the southern border of East March. Not entirely true, though not entirely false either. Any Nord can learn the way of the voice by studying with the Greybeards, given enough ambition and dedication. My shouting tore to the ground proved he had neither. However, it was my sword piercing his heart that killed him. The Empire's ravenous hunger for Skyrim silver makes them fierce, but rest assured, we'll win the reach and wrest it from their greedy paws. Damn Tullius. He's pocketed men in the rift. It's dangerous having Imperial skulking about on the southern border of East March. Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? Damn it. What were they doing there? Imperial spies are everywhere. Never forget that. I trust you gave them rations. I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of White Rock. Deliver this axe to Balgroth the Greater. Men who understand each other often have no need for words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Balgroth will know my meaning. Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper.
always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. The key to wards is that they take time to charge. Not long, but you can't start casting with a fireball coming at you. Also, if your ward isn't negated by an incoming spell, it will recharge itself after a moment or two. Just be careful. Casting wards requires constant concentration, and you can easily find yourself drained of your magical reserves. Well, yes. This is rather embarrassing, but it seems I've misplaced something. I can't find my Alembic. I suppose I could use another one, but... Well, it sounds silly, but mine has sentimental value. If you happen to see it, would you mind bringing it to me? My Alembic. I need it for some research and can't seem to find it. Pity now. Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and Nair fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aliad, Gwemma, Daedric, or even Farmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience, but can you feel that? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magic yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aram is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, have... I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Psychic Order here in the College. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you, specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Technically, that is true, but I still report to the Old Mary Dominion, and I cannot ignore this situation. Don't worry. You can return to your petty squabbles and meaningless research as soon as this matter is resolved. I said let's go, now. I'll be the one asking the questions. All you need to know is that the Psijic Order is a rogue organization, believing themselves to be above the law. They have clashed with the Old Mary Dominion before, and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. Now, you are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds.
Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. It is good to meet you in person. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath, but we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. I presume you refer to Onkano's distaste for the Sigic Order. The Thalmor see our order as a threat because we have power, and we will not allow them to control us. I assure you that we mean you no harm. He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... something different. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Where were you about? What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly, I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope what you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several if you're talented. Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Uh, until next time. You know, the huh? You, you can see me? Confound it all! I was quite sure I was invisible, or at least transparent. Oh my, that's quite a difficult question. Never underestimate the ability to influence others. 
Whether they're friends or foes, they're almost all susceptible to illusion spells. They can turn the tide of a battle in a moment's notice. There are also spells that help in avoiding conflict altogether. Invisibility is tricky to master, but exceptionally useful. There may be a matter in which your skills could be useful. The various points of focus for magic energies around the college have become polluted and need cleansing. Very well. These specially enchanted gloves will allow you to delve directly into the focal points for these energies. Go to each focal point and remove whatever impurities you may find there. Return the gloves to me when you have finished. Please exercise caution. This is not a procedure without possible consequences. Use the gloves to clear the focal points. Return to me when you have finished. I thought I made this rather clear. Mm-hmm, until next time. I think the college is due for a change in leadership. If you're working on any experiments, please clean up after yourself. It's not enough that you've stolen the spotlight with this eye thing. Now you're looking for the auger. I'm not sure what you're playing at, but you do well to remember your place around here. Until next time. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Oh, it's coming along slowly. I expect there will be some results soon. All right, then. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. All right, then.